welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Doctor's Orders. I'm Dr. Stacey Willis, and I'm so excited that you join me here for another Wednesday wind down. If you have not already grabbed your beverage of choice, please hit pause, go grab it, go grab your wine, your water, your juice, whatever floats your boat and hurry on back so we can get started. I'm so excited. All righty, as you can see, I am repping Beyonce today. Um, this is like one of my new favorite shirts. It is so beautiful. I got it off of Etsy. If you're interested, let me know and I will put the link below, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So friends, I hope you have watched my Beyonce Renaissance tour video. I did take you along to the concert with me. So if you have not already watched that, please, please go check it out and look at all of the fun that I had. It was absolutely amazing. Um, over here to my left, I got my wood wick candle burning. Friends, you now know that we are moving into the fall. I think effective Friday will be fall. So it's now time for these warm candles that have the smell of cinnamon and apple and just the aroma. You know how much I love the wood wick because it actually crackles and sounds like a fireplace. So if you have not grabbed one of those candles, please do so and thank me later. All right. What are we enjoying today? I have a 19 Crimes um, 2019 Red Blend. This is a friend of the channel. I have had this before, so we know how delicious it is. Um, the 29 or 19 Crimes, their wines are so delicious and they have multiple kinds. Uncle Snoop made one, Martha Stewart has one, um, and they're just so delicious. So without further ado, I am going to pour me up some in my favorite, favorite wine glass that says resting, resting wine face. So cheers to Wednesday, friends. I hope your week is going smooth. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Just what the doctor ordered. Now that's a smooth red blend. Friends, if you are looking for something that is pleasant to the palate, that just goes down the throat and just saturates the tongue in a beautiful way, that's not overpowering, but also not underwhelming, this is the wine for you. Um, absolutely delicious. I often enjoy this with steak dinners, pastas, whatever. It's, it's, it's always good to pair with multiple, multiple items. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. That is just what my Wednesday needed, friends. <laughs> All righty. If you've already seen from the title, I've done some legwork for you, friends. Um, a couple of my subscribers are looking to start their luxury handbag collection. Some of you have already started your luxury handbag collection. But I wanted to just do the legwork, do some research for you all, and present to you multiple handbags that are under $2,000, right? That are from our favorite fashion house, Louis Vuitton, okay? I'm gonna be shooting this in parts because if I sat here and went over all the handbags that I found, this will probably be a 30 to 45 minute video. And we're not here for that, friends, right? When we click on YouTube, we want the information quick and then we're moving on and we're on to something else. So I know how I peruse YouTube, so I wanna give my friends what they want. All righty, so I am going to pop on my reading glasses because as you know, <laughs> I need them to read, all righty? So, ah, fantastic. So today, I am going to go over 10 handbags that I found that are under $2,000. Friends, if you have not already watched my video of me unboxing this and also setting this up, please go check out my desk agenda video. This is a staple in my collection. This is something that I use every single day. Friends, it is worth every dime. And like I said, it's one of my favorites that I have in the collection. And again, it does so much. You can set it up in multiple ways. You don't have to do it the way I did it, but if you have not watched that video, go back, check it out and treat yourselves. Friends, treat yourselves. This is also another item that's actually, this is actually under a thousand, well under a thousand. So treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. <laughs> All righty, so let's kick it off. 
The first handbag under $2,000. So again, you can take notes, you can just watch it all the way through and come back, whatever works for you friends. But I just wanna make sure that I give this information over to you. Okay, and I'm on the wrong page. All right, here we go. <laughs> so the first handbag is the easy pouch. And I am going to be inserting pictures um, on the video so you can actually see what it looks like. This is an emperor leather, okay? So this is a leather bag, which we like, right? Comes with the strap. Oh, lost my earring. <laughs> Comes with the strap. We're not doing any bloopers, friends. This is the real deal over here. A lot of these videos or a lot of these bags too that I'm going to be going over today are currently placed in cart, okay? So if you see something that you like, as of the filming of this video, a lot of the items were placed in cart. So if you see something that you like, go over, run over to the website and check it out. Okay, so the Easy Pouch does retail for $1,620, so $1,620. And again, for a leather bag, that's not bad. That's not bad, friends. Not bad at all. Okay, the second bag, all right, is the Felici Pochette. Now, this beauty comes in canvas. It also comes in epi leather, and it also comes in ombreon leather. All three of those versions are under $2,000. So again, you have some selections there, all righty? The canvas retails for $1,490. And the Epi and Ampliant leather are the same price. It retails for $1,620, okay? The great thing about the Felici Pochette is it's one of those bags that keeps on giving. It does come with inserts. It comes with a zip pocket insert that you can take out, remove, just hold on in your hand, run in the store. And it also comes with the card slots. And I see a lot of resellers just selling the inserts by themselves and they are flying off the shelves like hotcakes because people are using those in other small bags. They're using them just standalone, holding them in their hands. So, very, very great versatile bag, all right? Number three is two wallet on chains. So we have the Lily and then we also have the Ivy. Friends, these are some cute bags. So if you're looking for a wallet of chain on chain, something that you can kind of use for date night, something that you can kind of use, go out for girls night or whatever it may be, this may be right up your alley. So the first one is the Ivy, okay? So the canvas retails for $1,760. And the Ivy also comes in Ampriant leather, which retails for $1,900. And again, look at these beauties. I don't know where it's gonna pop up on the screen, but look at these beauties, all right? The next wallet of chain on chain is the Lily. And I think this is one of the newer bags. I haven't seen this one around a lot or before. And I know friends, some of us like to grab bags that we're not seeing all over the internet or necessarily everywhere we go. This may be one. So the Lily monogram canvas retails for $1,670. Not bad, not bad, right? Okay. The next bag, number four, a very popular one, the Graceful, which comes in two sizes and both of those sizes are under $2,000, okay? So we have the PM, which retails for $1,760. Very cute bag, very cute bag. And then if you want something a little bigger, we have the MM that retails for $1,890, okay? So again, a very cute shoulder bag, you can wear it and hold it in your hand, kind of as a top handle. You can also put it in the crook of your arms. Very, very beautiful bag. And the great thing about the Graceful is it comes in different, um, the inside lining, you can pick different colors, all right? So similar to the Neverfull, where you can get it in red or cherry, you can get it in the pink color or rose ballerine. Let's be specific for all my Louis Vuitton lovers. <laughs> um, you can also do that with the Graceful. So again, two size bags, the same bag, all retail under $2,000, okay? The next bag is the one that I want for myself, is the Speedy 25. So the Speedy 25 comes with or without a strap. The one with the strap is called the Speedy B, or it stands for a bandolier, okay? So the Speedy 25 
It retails for $1,490 and it comes in all of the canvas prints. So you can get it in um, Damier Abin, you can get it in Damier Azure, and you can also get it in Monogram. The one that I'm looking at is the one in the Damier Abin. I want that bag, that's kind of on my list, but right now, friends, I'm on Ban Island. I am, I am on Ban Island, so. <laughs> I will not be purchasing anything in the upcoming uh, months. I have put myself on Ban Island, but that's okay. I still enjoy watching unboxings. And what me being on Ban Island is causing to happen is it's causing me to go through the bags in my collection, right? It's causing me to wear more of my bags, right? Instead of consistently purchasing a new one, purchasing a new one, purchasing a new one, and that being my rotation, now that I'm on Ban Island, meaning I'm not buying anything, I'm now going in my closet and looking at bags that I haven't worn in years. And friends, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm having fun shopping in my own closet. So that's what that is, all right? Now the Speedy B, which means bandolier, it comes with a bandolier strap, that retails for $1,820. So in essence, friends, if you want the one with the strap, you're gonna pay an extra $330 just for the strap. But I know some of you don't want a top handle. You don't want something that you can wear in the crook of the arm. You wanna have something that you can throw over your shoulder. You wanna have something that you can actually wear cross body. And I get it, I get it, and I completely understand. So if you wanna shell out that extra 330, it's available to you, friends, if that's what you wanna do. All right, number six is one that's in my collection. If you have not watched me unbox the Fold Me pouch in Hawaii, please go back and watch that video. But that is a part of my collection. It retails for 1,900, I'm sorry, 1,900, yeah, right. It retails for $1,290 and it is a beauty. Um, as you saw in the What Fits In video, I have replaced the original strap with the strap that comes with my pochette motif, just, motif, just to make it a little longer and mwah, it is absolutely beautiful. So if you have not watched that video, What Fits In, or the unboxing, go back and watch those videos, but that is the Fold Me Pouch, which retails for $1,290, okay. Next up, number seven, is we got the double zip pochette, all right? So it does come in canvas and it retails for $1,350. It also comes in reverse monogram and empreinte leather, and those prices are the same. It retails for $1,420. And then you have the bi-color, which is also in empreinte leather, which retails for $1,690. So again, depending on the material that you're using, whether it's canvas, whether it's bi-color empreinte, or just regular empreinte, the price does vary. But again, a lot of options with the double zip pochette, all right? Almost there, friends. We have the Neverfull BB, which is fairly new to Louis Vuitton. It just recently came out. And we also have the Neverfull PM, so those smaller versions of the Neverfull. And the BB actually comes with a guitar strap. So it's very interesting, as you can see in the picture. Very, very different. The BB retails for $1,900, so $1,900, and the PM retails for $1,960, so it is $60 more than the BB. Now, I didn't talk about the MM, which is like one of the most popular bags that Louis Vuitton makes, because it did tip over just a little bit, friends. That bag in canvas leather, um, or in canvas material, does retail for $2,030. So we went a little bit over the scale. That's why I didn't include it too much, but I just wanted to throw that out there just in case if you were interested, the Neverfull MM is running very close, very close to our $2,000 um, limit, okay? We're almost there. Number nine is also a new bag for Louis Vuitton, which is the High Rise Bum Bag, and that retails for $1,850. Now that flew off the shelves. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, everybody was running to get that bag. Um, I did not run to get it. I own the original bum bag and I need to come and do a review of that because um, I have it in the world tour. Um, and I'll kind of kind of explain how you design your own bag and it's the monogram with the black uh, leather. But 
Yes, the high rise bum bag, $1,850. It is not placed in card. It is in notify me status. But again, if you have an essay, if you have a relationship with somebody at Louis Vuitton, why not reach out, see if they can source one for you, or if one comes in store, hold it for you, okay? And the last bag, uh, which is one that I found, and I said, oh, it's so cute, but it is a little, little itty bitty um, bag. It is the Mini Moon, um, and it is also in Empreant leather, and it retails for $1,730, okay? $1,730. And that is the first 10 bags that I'm going to go over today. Again, this is part one. I'm going to shoot um, another part. So this may be a series um, where I'm going over bags that are under 2000 If this is something that you're interested in, friend, please let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do some additional research and do some, uh, there it goes again, this, 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 <laughs> this earring. And if you want me to do some additional research and research bags under $1,000, let me know. I will be more than happy to do so. All right, friends, I'm gonna cheers you to another Wednesday and I'm going to leave you with this quote. Butterflies do not know the color of their wings. So trust me, someone else notices how beautiful you truly are. Cheers. <laughs>